Okay, it's been years since I have mounted this flat screen TV to the wall and I forgot how to actually pull the TV out a little bit because I wanted to switch out and update the Roku that was plugged in to the back. So obviously I have no idea what kind of mount you purchased, but hopefully this video can help you out. The first thing I'm gonna do is look for two little pull little pieces of a uh, little string or cloth, one on the left side about center left and one on the right side about center right. And we're gonna locate these items. We've got some wires and cords to kind of move through here. The, the one right there you can see on the left, I've got that one, okay? And what we're gonna do when we have that is pull it down. If you pull it down, it's gonna release the clip from the bottom part of the bracket on the underside of the TV. The top bracket will actually hang. So we need to first of all, at least in my case, release the bottom bracket. And again, you find those two strings that are pulling down, one on the left, one on the right. You'll need two hands. Pull them down simultaneously. And that should release the bracket from the TV, the lower bracket from the TV. And I'm not worried, there we go. So you can see now it kind of swings, it pivots on that top bracket and it swings up like this. Can you see that? Get a better view here. So the bottom part will swing freely. The top part is now resting on these little brackets that if you lift the TV up, it should come all the way off the top bracket. So be careful, don't do it unless you're ready. If you lift the TV up, it should dismount or demount at this point. I'm not going to demount because I can actually reach the USB and the HDMI to switch out the Roku, but that is kind of how it works uh, if you need to gain access to behind your wall-mounted TV. So with my Roku now switched out, I'm going to tuck the cords and cables kind of back underneath as much as I can before I push the bottom part of the TV back against the wall. And I need to hear two clicks. There we go. And now the bottom bracket should be secure again. TV cords are hidden. And that seems to be successful. So that's how you do it. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Thanks so much.